So one of the things that I have been learning recently is the difference between user mode and kernel mode within Windows systems. And I found it really fascinating and I kind of wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the topic. The Windows system has two modes with which applications can run in, processes can run in. They're either in user mode or kernel mode. Um, basically what that kind of looks like is we have the user mode there and then we have another section of a system kernel mode, user mode and we have the system now the difference between these two things is based on privileges but also what these sections of the operating system can access what um, so basically user mode is designed to be where all your applications run. So like this browser is running user mode. Everything we see on our desktop is running user mode. Anything that we open is running user mode. Um, basically most of the things you interface on a daily basis is running user mode. What the purpose of kernel mode is, is to add a layer of, I guess, abstraction between our hardware. Hardware, that's a bit hard to read. Hardware. And our software, which runs here within the, within the system. So basically what we want to do with that is kernel mode is used for anything that, any kind of code that needs to get run on the CPU itself that's sitting in memory, anything like that is managed by kernel mode itself. So basically kernel mode has full access to hardware. It's where everything that is sensitive runs. Um, it basically knows what threads are running, what the CPU is supposed to be handling, um, and it gives those instructions to the CPU, which then it follows and that process repeats over and over and over again. Here in user mode, we'll have basic applications. So say we have Google Chrome, Discord, Steam, all those kind of things. They'll be running within user mode. And what they will do is when they need resources, they will dip into kernel mode as needed. So this is like anything that they need to access CPU wise, all of that will happen there, but it doesn't happen directly. What happens is we make system calls to things like the Windows API, API to drivers, etc. So instead of going directly into kernel mode, they will go first here and this itself will go to the kernel which is in, in charge of all that stuff which will then send its instructions to the hardware and then that will you know send back all the responses and all of that that's basically what you the difference between user mode and kernel mode is on a basic level um, we have the applications here in user mode running they make requests to the Windows API, the Windows API drivers, etc., which then those system calls that are made go to the kernel to other drivers. So that would be kernel drivers um, and other things that are happening in there, which then eventually goes to the hardware itself. And what's important to note is that in user mode, we have applications running, right? But the difference between how they run processes, how they run in user mode and kernel mode is that in kernel mode, all of it's just open. It's kind of like a flat area. All the processes are running within one virtual um, memory space. Whereas within user mode, each application gets their own space. So for the application itself, it may look like something like this. For the application, it may look like something like this. This is how you know, the different instructions that get sent into and the different parts of the code are getting stored. 
where in reality it's probably something closer to this where each kind of memory location this is the virtual memory space so yeah virtual memory space there here we have actual physical memory and so the instructions are kind of getting put in different places. So this is what it actually looks like to the application. And this is what it really looks like to the CPU itself. The CPU know that knows that this is where it is, but the application itself thinks that this is where the, the code is getting executed. In. And the reason for this is so that different applications will have different, like their own distinct virtual memory spaces. They'll still be using the same physical memory, but they won't overlap and that helps applications not be able to run into each other, not be volatile and cause like a system-wide crash. If one application crashes, it doesn't affect the others. The difference with kernel mode is that because everything is there, if there is a small, you know, something wrong happens within the kernel or anything that's running within kernel mode, it can cause a system crash. It's very easy to recover from something going wrong within Google Chrome or Discord or Steam, any other application that's happening, you've, you've probably encountered that. Um, it doesn't mean that your whole system crashes, but anything that happens wrong here down in the kernel level, um, then there's, there's something wrong. Um, and it kind of kind of stop things from happening there. So that is the difference between user mode and kernel mode. And I thought that was an interesting topic to learn. So let me know if you learned something. Um, let me know in the comments if I missed something or whatever. Well, I want to learn more about this. So if you have any other knowledge in this area, please show us, teach us all. And please leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Have a good night.